first John chapter number five, verse oh, four. Yeah. And move on. Yes. Verse one. Yes. Bonge ukuba Bonke abamthanda yo lowo wazalayo bayamthanda na lowo uzelwe yo nguye Verse 2 Sazinga lento ukuba siyabathanda abantwana bakathixo xa sukuba simthanda uthixo siyigcina imithetho yakhe Verse 3 Kuba ukumthanda uthixo kuko ukuthi siyigcine imithetho yakhe ayinzima ke imithetho yakhe Ngokuba konke okuzelwe yonguthixo kuya kuyaleyisa ihlabathi Lulo ke olu uloyiso oluyileyisayo ihlabathi ukholo lwethu Verse number 4 again Verse 4 Ngokuba konke okuzelwe yonguthixo kuyaleyisa ihlabathi Lulo ke olu uloyiso oluleyisayo ihlabathi Read in English kusazana Verse 4 Yes for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive your word. Bless it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We spoke about achieving. We must achieve. We must achieve things. We must win. We must overcome. Say amen. Say amen. To achieve. We said it is not an easy thing. That is why we have come to the Lord. Because when we speak of achieving, we said one must understand that there is war there. If you're going to achieve something, you have to be in the war face. Everything you have to achieve, one must be ready for the war. Say amen. Many people they don't like to be in the war. They like to live peace during in war. They like to relax. Wise is not a time to relax. Say amen. So achieving be a soldier first the Bible spoke of that we are the soldiers of Christ it means there is war war is only for soldiers to protect to overcome and to win Say amen. Say amen. So many people have failed to achieve powerful things. Some have become very tired. We said they have been demotivated. Why? The enemy came and trembled upon them. They lost the power. They lost the passion. And because of that, they are the victims of failure. But in God, the Bible says we win. We guarantee of winning when we are in God. Say amen. It doesn't mean you won't fight. 
Even if there is God in you. That is why my wife has been speaking here. Saying one must do something. It's not a time to sit down. It's a time to do something. It's a time to focus something. We said as a living person. You must know where you are now. And know where you are going to. When the year begins. You must know what you want this year. What do you want to achieve? And you prepare yourself for that. Say Amen. Many people, they plan in the beginning of the year. But as the year goes on, they forget of what they plan. The devil comes to deceive them. That is why the Bible says Fix your eyes to Jesus It means You fix your eyes to realities You don't allow your mind to be shifted Whether by hard times By sicknesses By anything that attends you. A person who is focusing, he must always know that he is a target to the enemy. That is why he lives to take care of what he focuses for. You will understand the enemy. Why is he still at a distance? Why? Because he is in the right position. The failure of a man, it is not failing him when he is in the battle. He fails when he loses the position. You can fight but if you are not in the right position, you will lose. That is why in the Bible says, one must take his stand so that you know what are you fighting for. Your money must know. Your assets must know. Your mind must know. Position everything you have. Let everything fight for what is real. Some other people can fight, but their monies are not there. Some other people desire to achieve, but their mind doesn't focus. Some other people, they focus but they lose power. But when you are in the Lord, you must know that you will win. Say amen. The Bible says everyone born of God he overcome. So in other words when you want to achieve you must be sure of winning. Don't start something and drop it. Even if there is a hardship you are facing, when you start something, you will win it. Somebody must say amen. Don't start something and be demotivated. Even if you get a knock, but refuse to try. That is why when you want to achieve you must look at thing weigh the weight of that child. That is why there are people 
what they want to achieve but what they have to achieve is not a serious medal so the seriousness of the medal is the one that will pull you during week time you look how serious it is compared to what you are facing compared to what you are facing so when you fight that is why some other people you come to him you see him serious of a thing and when you look this it's not going to last he wastes his time on things that will not last he wastes his money on things that will not last he wastes his tears on things that will not last weigh the metal you want weigh what you want to achieve you say when I have received this what will happen in my life what will happen in my family what will happen in my children remember this you are a member of a family so you don't live for the street so your achievements look where it's gonna rotate that is why when God came to Abraham he took him and his family he said I will make you great leave other people I'm concerned about you so the blessing that you want I want to achieve it must begin in you and your family be serious about your family so your blessing will touch you and your family before it goes to the world say amen so when you want to achieve look a change that will happen in you and your family glory to Jesus Christ if it's not going to make a change in you and your family don't waste time on that nonsense don't waste time on that nonsense why it's not blessed it's a curse so God when we speak of achieving he's looking to change you to change your family that is why the Bible says everyone born of God in other words everyone who understands how God works overcome he will overcome many people have lost a lot of things a lot of achievements because they diverted they shifted from the main goal the Bible says fix your eyes if I get money I think of me and my wife I think of my children but if you get money you think of the world the world will take your money and will vomit you out it will vomit you out. If you want to achieve even on assets you want a car 
Yes, no, funny motor. And you drive it. Oi, Kobe. It's useless in the family. family. It's good outside. When it dies, when it is a right off, the world will leave you. It will leave you. But if your car has been useful here, your money has been useful here. But when it comes to the name, when you get no power, one of your members comes and say, Mommy, I remember when things are good. When I work, may God give me money. I will buy you a car. Why? He knows that when you have things, you are a person of a family. Yes. You must weigh the metal. What change will it bring in your life and your family? If it pleases God, no which to stand against you. That is why there are families here. The devil will pack and go from today. Why? God is stepping in. Yeah, my father. There are families you will never touch. Families who are united. Families who understand how God works. You will never touch those families. There are females you will never touch. Those who understand the plan of God. Even if the devil come and split the family. But there is one who remains in the position. He forces the victory of Calvary. And say, Satan, eh? You devil. If you have taken even if no you have taken my child, one. even if you have taken my wife, but I am here but to say you are a liar. When I sat and you Jesus, my God, my Father, everyone. Born of God, he overcomes. And you shall overcome. You shall achieve. The other thing is, people are demotivated. Demotivated. They have been in breakdowns for such a long time. There is no power to go forward. They have a lot of wounds. Some blame why they live. Why? The enemy has been attacking those people. The, my point here. When you are to achieve, learn to work on difficult times. There are people who are not trained to work on difficult times. They don't like to work on difficult times. They quickly quit. Difficult times are a sign that you are an achiever. Difficult times are not on useless people. Useless people they sleep by Allah. They don't want to work on difficult times. They want to get things on a train. They are not ready to work. They are not the achievers at all. Difficult times. 
times are important in your life. They are a sign that what God has given you, you shall get it. You stand because you know that God has given me this. The Bible says, I believe, resist the devil. He will flee. That verse is for a person who knows what he is doing. That is why serving God Working with God, fighting by using God, is for people who fight for realities. You know what God has given you, and the devil will come and say you won't get it. But because you know that this is mine. You stand because you know. You fight because you know that this is yours. Why are you going to get this? Because it's yours. The reason why you resist is, is because you don't take chance. It's yours. That is why not all things are yours. You have a duty to know what is yours. That's why some other people will fight for things that are not for them. But there are things that are yours. And the spirit will tell you. That is why as a child of God you must be clean in your spirit. Do not be greedy. Because if you are greedy you will desire other things that are not yours. As a result you will be deaf to hear what is yours. That is why you are busy now fighting against witchcraft. What? Which is a greedy. And because you know what is yours, listen here. If you are in your position and you fight what is yours, you will enter in dying situations. But you will not die. You will not die if you are fighting for your thing. Why people die? They fight for their thing. And yet they are not in the right position. You must be in your position. Anyone who is coming to your thing to take it, he won't take it because your position. That is why sometimes it seems as if he has taken it. Remain in your position. The Bible says in the book of John Remain in me And I will remain in you And he says if you remain in me And my words in you Hey, remaining Saladikum. remaining Saladikum. in him Saladikum. is knowing Saladikum. what God has given you you hear him clearly you see it clearly and when you take it what they refuse to give you you apply James that says resist. And when you resist, the devil will be tired. Resisting is failing to give up. It can take years. 
Depending how serious it is that which you want to achieve. The enemy can stand for 20 years. As long as he has not given you what you want. So you have to resist As if God has not heard You stand Amen you keep on standing. You keep on standing. You keep on standing. You keep on standing. Sometimes you don't pray for it every day. You pray for this once a month. You said, Lord, you said. And at that time, the enemy begins to be angry more. Sometimes you say once after six months. You said, the Lord, you said. What are you doing? You resist the devil. Resisting has got power to release what you want. And the enemy knows that believers cannot resist. They quickly give up. There are things you wanted long ago. But you have not received now. But I say to you. Don't miscarry. You shall give birth to that thing. In the name of Jesus. Learn to work on difficult times. Learn. Founder. Learn to climb mountains. Don't cry. And curse God. Say God is my strength now. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. On, 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 on Deuteronomy chapter number 20. Verse number 4. First my daughter so tell us. Learn to work on difficult times. Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4. Yes. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you. God will fight for you. He has fought for many people. Read my daughter again. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. God will fight for you. Why? Because he gave you this. When he was sending Moses to Egypt. He said, go and tell Pharaoh. You say to me, must release my people. And when Moses was going there, God said, you will be God before Pharaoh. You are Moses. But when you are before your enemy, you will be God. But now you are Makakwa. But the moment you step in on what God has given you, you turn. You become God to anyone who opposes them.